Hey everyone, welcome back to Hero Wars Guide. I've been away for a while. I got out and did some climbing trips and uh, just didn't have as much time with some things going on at work. Uh, but I'm back to talk about a unique opportunity to get some extra emeralds today. And I hope to get back into the swing of more regular videos about events and whatever else. All right, so let's talk about how you can get eight times emerald sale. This is going to vary depending on your VIP level, but uh, speaking at, at the example of a pretty high VIP level, there are emerald bundles available for about just under 30,000 and another for 1,500. So that, that's the starting point. That's 1x right there if you were to buy those things. But uh, generally speaking, you should really only be buying anything in the game for uh, at uh, either Golden Tickets or Valkyrie Favor or 4x emeralds. So you should have the 3x uh, available and uh, so that will bring those totals from about 31,000 to 93,000 so there you're you're doing good already uh, here we have on uh, Hero Wars web and Facebook right now the Amira event where you can get an extra 30,000 for completing one of the tasks there uh, and that's going to bring you up to about the normal amount from a 4x sale uh, but then there is also an issue right now where uh, a number of people in the game have been given access to the Adventure Begins and World Pioneers and maybe some of the other beginner events, uh, even if they completed them a long time ago. And that Adventure Begins event includes a task that rewards up to about 120,000 emeralds. So when added on to those earlier steps, uh, people who have access to that event can get to just about an 8x emerald sale. I don't have any hard numbers on how many people uh, are involved in, in the opportunity to get that special event again, but uh, based on my own polling with guildmates on various servers, it seems like it's somewhere between 10 and 30% of each server has that special event back again. That seemed like an obvious problem to me uh, because this is such a huge opportunity. The events themselves provide you know, you know a decent little chunk of extra resources. Uh, but then combined with the potential emerald purchases here, this is a gigantic advantage uh, just to a small, well, not even a small, but a minority of the player base. So here's a quick look at the, the task in question here. The, the big one to be uh, focused on is uh, this is the Adventure Begins special event uh, taken from fandom and uh, this emerald boom task includes when you buy up to 80,000 emeralds, you get 120,000. Obviously, that's way above uh, what you, you normally get from any task like this. I think this one was just meant to gear people up for spending as their new players. So I reached out to support uh, about the issue and let them know that, hey, this Adventure Begins event is back for some people, not everyone. Uh, how do I get my access to it um, because it's such a huge advantage? Uh, they told me it was a mistake that some people got it and they're working on fixing it. Uh, and obviously the natural question there is, does this fix include providing this opportunity to everyone else? Uh, or is it just, you know, too bad for people who didn't get it? Uh, they said, no, we're not going to give them to people who did not get the event. And so I was curious what, what exactly is being done to fix the issue and they kind of blew that off other than reiterating that they're not going to provide this opportunity to everyone else. That was an extremely disappointing exchange with the support team here. Uh, you know, it's kind of like going to a, a grocery store, you get a case of beer, person in front of you has one, they scan, $10, you scan, it's 20. Uh, you ask, you know, what's going on? Why did they get it for 10? You're charging me 20. They tell you, I don't know, it's broken. We're going to charge the guy behind you ten dollars too, but for you it's twenty. Uh, you know, is that a place you're going to continue to shop? Probably not. Uh, maybe hang out uh, on the free sample days, but uh, you know, it's probably not where you're going to go to buy your beer moving forward. I'm not really even sure myself how you can call something a fix uh, if it doesn't even acknowledge the damage caused by the problem in the first place. All right, so uh, what do I think uh, could have been done? Uh, you know, there's some potential fixes that, that might have been put in place. 
Uh, most of them don't have a very good outcome, in my opinion, but uh, you know, you could remove the bonus rewards from the people who got it. That's not a good solution because people will have made their purchasing decisions based on those rewards and they're going to be pissed off about having something uh, taken away from them, justifiably so. Uh, you could give bonus rewards to everyone else, but since the special event did involve making purchases, there's no real equal way to compensate the people who didn't get the opportunity uh, because the people who did are going to have vastly varying uh, outcomes from the event. Uh, you could do absolutely nothing, which appears to be the solution that they have taken, uh, which is uh, bad because essentially this is 120,000 free emeralds uh, to anyone who did get the event um, if they make some purchases and uh, you know other people don't get that opportunity. Uh, they could give a gift to everyone in the game, uh, but that's not a very good solution. That, that's often their solution when something goes wrong in the game. You know, when you send it to everyone, it, you know, get, what I've written here is a, a gift to everyone is a gift to none. Uh, and the reason for that is, in this game, your power really only matters in terms of how it relates to your competition. You know, if you have an example, a team, your, your top five, your main team, has a power of 800,000, uh, you know, you could say that's a pretty strong team, and uh, if you're on a server that's a week old, uh, that's going to completely dominate the server. You're going to be by far the most powerful person. You could throw Dante alone in the arena, and he'll hold the number one spot for a month. You know, amazing team at 800k. But you take that same team, you go to server three, and you're the weakest player uh, on that server. So really, your power only matters compared to your competition. So with that in mind, if they give the same gift to everyone, you know, you gain a little bit of power from that, but so does everyone else. So it really doesn't make any difference. So then lastly, you know, uh, the seemingly straightforward solution is just give everyone else that same special event that has been given to a quarter or so uh, of the players. It's not what they intended to do, but it puts everyone in the same boat. Everyone has the same opportunity to... Uh, you know, complete those tasks to the extent that they choose. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the way that they've gone. All right, so uh, what's the impact of this by spending level? I think this affects different players to different degrees. Uh, free to play, you know, your competition is probably, uh, for the most part, also free to play. So, uh, you know, it's a shame if you didn't get that event, you're going to miss out on a little bit of rewards. But uh, the emeralds is so much bigger than everything else. Your competitors probably aren't going to spend a ton of money to get those emeralds. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's unfortunate, but probably not too huge a deal. Uh, to whales, you know, this is, again, unfortunate. Your, your rivals are getting 120,000 uh, emeralds in addition to whatever else they're, they're paying for in that period of time. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a setback. It's unfortunate, but... It's it's a, a drop in the bucket to, to some players, so, you know, it's not game-changing. For people in the middle, uh, I think this hits by far the hardest. Players who, you know, maybe spend $100, $200 a, a year in the game, somewhere in that middle space. To me, I think having this kind of discrepancy uh, in the game completely ruins the incentive uh, for, for any of these people to spend anything. Uh, I mean, to go back to that uh, idea of your power being compared to others uh, and what you get for spend, you know, if you're spending 100 to $200 uh, a year on this game and there's an issue like this that comes up that essentially uh, gives 100 uh, or $140 uh, worth of resources to your competitors, giving $140 of resources to your competitors is basically the same as taking it away from you. Uh, so, you know, if that's roughly equal to your yearly spend, uh, why would you continue to spend when there's this unaddressed issue that just takes that same amount away from you? So to me, uh, in my mind, I, I think the people in the middle uh, are really hardest hit by this uh, issue where some people have this special event. All right, well, I think that's uh, everything I wanted to cover uh, for this video. Uh, again, hope to get back into the more regular swing of talking about upcoming events and game modes uh, and everything that has probably brought you to the channel in the first place. All right, talk to you guys again soon. Thanks.